Hey yo, what's good my people? It's your boy Aleko. I'm mad excited with today's episode. I'ma be breaking down a modern Zook slash Kizomba type beat. It's a classic Aleko type beat inside Logic Pro X. Let's waste no more time and hop straight into it. All right, we're in it now. This is a fairly easy beat, not too much going on. So first thing I did is I worked on the electric piano melody and that goes a little something like this. All right, I didn't do anything to the sound. So the next thing I added was this sound. And what this is, is a, let me open it up, the ES2. And on its own, it sounds like this. Beautiful. So the analog wave combined with the E piano together sounds like this. By the way, I did not do anything to the analog waves. And then the next thing that I added, I'll play it alone was I just copied this melody here from the analog waves, copied it over onto the bright synth, which is using the retro synth from Logic. I copied that melody over and I found this preset called bright synth. And so to give you an example of what I did, Let's do a repetition, copy that. I'm going to remove this, paste that over here. And then I just made it shorter. So I'm going to revert back to it. And on its own, it sounds like this. So in a way, it's uh, my own version of a staccato. All right. Next thing I added was a lead. I didn't touch it at all. So it is what it is. And on its own, it sounds like this. Let's play the analog lead bright synth, analog waves, and electric piano together, and that sounds like this. Beautiful. And then I added a pluck. I remember it's a pluck. On its own, it sounds like this. I just copied the melody from the 70s analog lead over onto the pluck and it's from alchemy again did absolutely nothing to it i probably should do something later like mix the actual beat but so far nothing and that sounds like this So let me play that together with the analog lead. It just added a little bit more weight to the bottom end. And that sounds like this.
and now together with the bright synth analog waves and classic piano it all sounds like this that's awesome and then it was at this point that I added just like incidental sounds like this sound on its own just sounds like this and I used a bell from alchemy if I remember it's called the dreamy dulce bells and that sounds on its own like this again super simple nothing complicated and then I moved on to um, an accompanying melody for that incidental sound I used a pluck and that sounds like this. There's going to be a bit of a pause before it plays, so it sounds like this. <laughs> Again, simple. Like, it doesn't even make sense on its own. It's so out of context. But I'll play it with the, the dreamy bells and then the pluck together that uh, sounds like this. Random. But in context, when mixed with everything else, so the two, the analog lead, Eastern Hammers, Bright, Sin, Analog Waves, and Electric Piano, it all sounds like this. And then from this point, I added Arcade. So on its own, the Arcade sounds like this. Man, y'all already know I love Arcade. Again doesn't mean anything <laughs> there but it sounds good on its uh in context with everything so let me play it together with all the sounds that we've gone through so far and all of it together sounds like this <laughs> Whoa, that is sick. Oh my God. It's at this point that I started bringing in the drums and I brought in the bass as the last sound. So with the drums, first thing I did was uh, added the congas. So I'll just be bringing in the drums one by one. In fact, I'll take the vocals off so that they don't overpower everything for now and I'll also take I'll also take the bright synth off and the vocal so we just left with these so that y'all can get a better idea of how the drums come in and so we start off with the congas and that sounds like this together with the actually you know what let me just do the drums on their own and we'll start off with the congas they sound like this and then from there the shaker which sounds like this together with the conga
and then the snare. Nice. And then other conga, and together it sounds like this. And then a hi hat. And then I brought in a, another hi hat, but this time more to like drive the drums, give it more groove. And that sounds like this. Nice. And then I brought in a open hat to just add a little bit more groove and together it all sounds like this. And finally I brought in the kick to seal everything together and that sounds like this. And that's pretty much the entire beat. So I'll play everything and then bring in the bass as the last thing. In fact, let me play the bass on its own because really it's nothing significant, but it just adds another layer of low end when the chorus comes in. But on its own, it sounds like this. Nice. So, matter of fact, I'm just going to play, play it, bringing in everything one at a time. So I'll start off with the E piano, and then I'll bring in each and every other sound on its own.
and that's the beat. And that is it. I didn't have much time to mix it. I just made this one earlier on today. But uh, the project file is available for download. So go ahead and mix it up, you know, master it, do with it as you please, right? And hit me up once you've done that. But for now, let me play the full beat for y'all from the beginning. Well, other than that, it's been good. It's your boy Aleko. Super excited for this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. And we'll do it again next week, Sunday. In the meantime, go ahead, tell all your friends about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I'll see you again. Thank you for tuning in and I'm out.